Hi everyone! I know two Draw With Me videos in a row and less than one week apart. <laughs> Sick, right? <laughs> anyway, I really wanted to post this video today in the spirit of Inktober. And as I mentioned in one of my previous Draw With Me videos, I think it was the second one, um, I will not be formally participating in Inktober, but I will make my October Draw With Me videos in the theme of Inktober. That was a lot of Tobers in a very short amount of time. <laughs> so today we're going to ink a witch drawing. I made a digital sketch first on my iPad and then printed it out with my printer. Then I used my light box to trace the sketch onto watercolor paper. And with actual real ink, you don't have to work on watercolor paper, but I just really like the look and the texture of how the ink interacts with the watercolor paper. So that's the reason that I chose to work on that. The paper that I'm using is XL watercolor paper from Canson. It's the 300 milligram, my favorite paper weight when it comes to watercolor paper specifically. My light box is a light pad 930 from Autograph. None of the products I mentioned in this video are sponsored, by the way. It's just materials, tools and equipment that I have acquired on my artistic journey by myself through the years. For sketching, I used my favorite drawing pencil. It's from Kandash. And I've been told quite often by people around me that it was the weirdest mechanical pencil they ever saw. <laughs> The lead in it is HB, 5mm, and you can sharpen it with a custom little lead sharpener or use a knife, if that's the kind of thing you prefer. <laughs> when I was young and started drawing a lot, uh, we're talking 15 years ago or something, when I was 14, my parents got me a pencil just like this one. They went in to get me a professional pencil because they really wanted to encourage me to keep drawing and they were generally really supportive. Imagine teenage Nadia, 14 years old, just discovering manga and anime and recently spending all of her available life source on drawing manga characters. I feel kinda... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I want to say that I felt kinda embarrassed, but that's not really covering the feeling I'm trying to describe here. This is a little hard. <laughs> I mean, I was 14 and I should have had no greater interest than to hang out with my friends, exceed boundaries and think about the kind of teenage stuff that most of the other girls in my class was thinking about. But I would rather use any chance given to stay at home and draw manga. <laughs> I think the word I was looking for before was silly. I felt kind of silly for caring more about my art than hanging out with my friends. And I know that sounds kind of harsh, but I bet uh, a lot of you out there actually felt the same way at some point, maybe. So when my parents gave me that pencil, to me that was the ultimate acceptance of my very time-consuming and all-devouring hobby. And I still hold on to that feeling today. Don't misunderstand me, my parents never implied that my interest for manga and anime was stupid or anything the like, but still that acceptance was really what little Nadia, 14 years old, needed at the time. I loved that pencil so much and I drew with it for so many years until finally one day I drew it completely out of existence. <laughs> it broke. But luckily for me, Kandash is still making these pencils today, so I just went into my favorite art shop in Copenhagen and bought a new one, as close as possible to the first one. Okay, so that turned out to be a pretty long story about why I love my pencil. <laughs> um, it's just... It just kind of felt natural to tell you now that I was talking about it, I guess. Um, please forgive me for being nostalgic. <laughs> It also tells a very discreet story about what kind of kid I was and maybe someday I will give you a more in-depth version, but it will require a cozy blanket and a glass of wine to open up that box. <laughs> okay, now it just made it sound like I had a horrible childhood with a lot of trauma. <laughs> to a very wide extent, I definitely did not. But a thing that I think personally that a lot of artists have in common is this outcast aspect 
entwined somewhere in our stories. And that kind of stuff can be hard to look at, even when it doesn't appear that way. So yeah, cozy blanket and wine. Someday, <laughs> maybe we can talk about this. But for now, let me return to the art supplies I was actually just talking about. Um, I wanted to talk about the ink pen that I'm using in this video. I had a pen holder and pen nips too when I was younger, but I was so horrible at using them that I probably tried twice and never tried again. <laughs> Until approximately 15 years later, now in 2019, when I acquired this one thing that you see me using in the video. I bought it as some kind of starter pack in a little art boutique that I visited while I was in New York this summer. It was a small art supply store located in the Soho area on southern Manhattan. This starter set cost me approximately 12 bucks, so I really couldn't resist to try it out again. I found an image of the package online that I'll put on the screen now so you can see what the starter pack is. It's the uh, sketch set from Speedball, no, by Speedball Art, <laughs> sorry, and it includes um, six pen nips and two pen holders. A big one and a small one. So a few weeks after coming home from New York, I decided to test my new tools in my sketchbook. And quite frankly, I was amazed by how they worked. Remember my only experience with these quote unquote real ink pens and ink from my childhood or young years is that they were horribly hard to use. When I used these that I got in New York, I had no freaking trouble at all getting amazing line work. For a split second, I was considering the possibility of actual sorcery being involved. And not at all the fact that the pens I'd been using 15 years ago might have been a tiny bit too professional for me. <laughs> so I got very encouraged to start inking the traditional way and I've been loving it so far. So I'm very excited to use my pens and inks more this month in spirit of Inktober. And I really like witch themes and, well, fantasy themes and dark fantasy in general, so here we are. <laughs> the video speed today, by the way, is 200%. That means I work double as fast in the video compared to real time. So that should give you an idea of how slow I actually work sometimes. But if you would rather watch the 70 minute real time version, it will be available on my Patreon in November. So in order to get the rewards this video will be part of, you must sign up to my hero tier before November 1st. So you got plenty of time. Today is by the way, the first official day. My Patreon is back in action. I just relaunched it and we are up and running again. If you are one of my patrons, your rewards are currently being uploaded and rendered out. So it should be just a few more days before you can receive them. And thank you so much for your support. So today, actually, I don't have much else to say. I feel like everything I just said is a bit rushed and in the one end of the scale and then in the other end of the scale. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be more structured, but I think it's because I have a lot of things in my mind right now. I need to get back to write some other YouTube scripts that I'm preparing for October. So this month is going to be crazy for me. I already planned three videos for this month and that doesn't include the Draw With Me videos that I also want to make. So I think it's kind of safe to <laughs> expect a lot of content from me this month. I'm still trying to fit the 100k video into my October schedule, but... Uh, I think I have to push it back to November <laughs> because I don't have time. <laughs> but you can still submit your art for it in case you missed it in my previous draw with me. Ow! <laughs> in case you missed it in my previous draw with me video, I'm planning to redraw a subscriber's artwork into a piece by me for my 100k special video. And I made a post on my community tab here on YouTube where I ask you to submit your art if you want to participate in the comments. Not in this video, but, but in the community tab. Until I write another post that I've selected the art for the video, you can still submit, so go nuts. <laughs> go do that. You never know if it's yours that I'm going to pick. And I don't believe that there is much to say about Inktober, since I will not actually be participating. I'm not even... I don't even think that I want to follow a prompt list for the few ink pieces that I will be doing in these Draw With Me videos. 
I just don't want to feel tied down, I guess. <laughs> just want to explore the inks and work with them naturally with the ideas that I have in mind instead of... Yeah, I, will, I can use a prompt list if I get stuck, I guess. But um, I tried two years now, or is it three years, that I tried to participate in Inktober. I think... One year I was just kind of getting into it and checking it out and then two years I actually intended to participate. But in both cases I ended up backing out either halfway through or even before that simply because it, because the nature of Inktober just doesn't fit the kind of workflow that I have I guess. I don't know. I don't want to make excuses about it because there's really nothing to excuse. I just don't have the time to participate. <laughs> But I do love line work and I do love my new ink pens, so I will definitely be using that in October in my Draw With Me videos, as I already said 20 times. <laughs> you kind of hear that I'm running out of stuff that I want to talk about right now, so... Whoa, something happened on my computer there. Thank you. So, yeah, for the rest of the video, I just want you to enjoy the music and the video, if you're not drawing yourself, that is. Um, and I hope you'll have an amazing day. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye! So I dance with me, darling, put your hand
Her alarm goes off and she gets up to watch the morning news Doesn't work no more but tells a lot of stories about her youth Drinks more lately, ain't got pills in many different colors too Morning light is showing, she moves the chair to look out at her view But a shop was put right across the street It stands where the sunrise used to be in the afternoon Couch to read those through old pictures and memories. Our heroes have been forgotten, our heroes so brave and bold. Our heroes have been forgotten, our heroes so they got old. Our heroes have been forgotten. Since she got a family of her own It's 
kept the two apart Used to have so many visitors But now the only one Is the nurse that helps her move the chair To look out at the sun But a shop was closed right across the street And it stands where the sunrise used to be In the afternoons and the catch to read Goes through old pictures and memories Our heroes have been forgotten Our heroes so brave and bold our heroes have been forgotten Our heroes so they ain't got old Our heroes have been forgotten Our heroes so brave and bold Our heroes have been forgotten Stay the same, you know I just hope their stories will still be told Sunshine, fist fight every storm. Let the whole world freeze if it might not keep you warm. Cause all I need is your smile, nothing more. But if I couldn't have it, love, I'd let the whole world pour. I loved you once, and I know I love you still. I know I love you still, Lord. I know I love you still. Me, me back. In those Colorado fields I know that you once loved them And probably always will But we were only 17 When I caught you in that soft and yellow sky Oh, I was only halfway to life When you caught me in the corner of my eye the ocean I'd wrestle every flame but if I couldn't get to you I'd let the whole world bake see your face in the crest of every wave a little part of you never splash on me held you once in the cold and dimming dusk the cold and dimming dusk love cold and dimming dusk it's me me back by the aspens you once loved No, that's where I found you Where you always come Oh, we were only 17 When I caught you in that soft and yellow sky Oh, I was only halfway alive When you caught me in the corner
thunder, pretty as I was, about as loud and reckless, fickle as they
Tears down your dress But it has to be 